Hey guys, I had someone ask me how to make my scrub bouffant pattern, so here it goes. All you will need is a head, some scissors, a rotary cutter, pencil, marker, and measuring tape. So now what we're going to do is we're going to measure from the middle of the head to the nape of the neck. I got 15 inches, but I'm going to add an extra 2 inches just because we don't want the hat to fit snug to our head. We want to have a little bit of room. So about halfway from 17 inches is going to be eight and a half. So that's going to be the middle of our head. So I'm going to grab Stacy and show you that the top part of this is going to be from your forehead to the middle of your head. And then the rest is going to be from the middle of your head to the back. So you're going to take the middle of your head and measure it to your ear. I got about 7 inches, but I'm also going to add an extra 2 inches just because, again, you don't want it to fit snug to your head. So from the 9-inch mark, make sure you move both hands. Otherwise, it's going to bend unless you're using a straight ruler. So keep your finger on the 9-inch mark and just shift it a little bit and make a mark. And just keep it at the 9 inches all the way up until you get to the first marking that we made. So now we want to split the bottom half down the middle. So if you go from the top corner of this middle line all the way down, then you'll see where the middle is gonna be. So now we're gonna measure Stacy's nape of her neck. She has four inches, but myself, I have five inches and it's been working for everybody else. So I measured the five inches and then from there, we need to connect from the rest of the circle. So it's gonna be about three inches to connect it. And from here, you just need to connect all of the dots. And after you do that, we can move on to the front part of the bouffant. So you'll measure from the top of the forehead to about the middle of the forehead. Everybody is different. Some people got big foreheads, but two and a half inches has been working for me. So I'm going to measure two and a half inches and then we'll measure from the middle of the forehead to the ear, which is going to be about seven inches. So I will add one inch to make eight inches just to have more space. So we don't want the band to go halfway across the face. So let me put this hat on Stacy real quick. As you can see, it goes from big to small. So we're going to make an angle from the top part of that two and a half inches down to the eight inch mark. And it's going to be about half an inch up. Now I'm just going to put fold at the bottom because this is where you want to cut on the fold. And then I'm also writing fold up here because you would want to cut on the fold up here. And if you can't, that's fine. I forgot to show you, if you want to make it bigger for those who have a lot of hair, all you have to do is extend this line. You only need to extend this horizontal line. Do not mess with anything down here. Just extend this line.